That's my heart's desire. And when I see all of it, a thing holding your back, it only grieved me. I know it grieved God. Because I can see better things in you than you can see in yourself. And God ready to multiply you abundantly. In the old fleshy way, the flesh is seen yes, and it brings forth death. Mm -hmm. It stops the progress. And look like we love our flesh more than anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. The more I preach it, like the more they look. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I love one thing: my flesh hinders me. Yes, it does. It does. It makes you worry. Mm -hmm. Something get on your mind. I said, Lord, I'm tired of getting on my mind. Go to bed with it in your mind. Get up with it in your mind. That's flesh. Amen. Come on. Yeah. They call it word. Amen. But you know, word calls stress. Yes, it does. Less than stress. stress. It oh. calls you not to progress as God wants you to progress. Yes, Jesus. Because you're lifting up the problem on and the problem solved. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. The day we're going to go back, I mean, he gave me three episodes, but the day we got the second episode, I want you to go to Galatians 6, verse 8. And the topic that he that souls. Your sister coming back? So, she said not in a car to see if I might go back. Oh, praise God. She should have stayed here and never prayed for you. But, God, God, I thank you. Oh, she's six. Galatians 6. <coughs> last, last week, I talked about they be not deceived. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And this week, we're going to talk about he that soweth. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you how God showed me in this. He's showing in two ways. Amen. How we sow. And what, how to sow, what we sow in two. Amen. So, Galatians 6, verse 8. Look what it said. For he that soweth to his flesh Shall of the flesh reap corruption. Okay, what you gonna reap? Corruption. When you sow to the flesh, you will reap corruption. Mm -hmm. That means stress, yes, bitterness. Mm -hmm. This is what you're reaping. Mm -hmm. That's not good reaping, is it? No. See what we reaping? Mm -hmm. We reaping the curse. Yes. The curse. That's what we reap. Mm -hmm. We reap in the curse. Curse is to make you what? Bitter. Yeah. <coughs> Hate. Mm -hmm. We reap the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm not getting the harvest out of that. Mm -hmm. My body is what? Dying. Mm -hmm. So I'm not happy. Mm -hmm. So I'm reaping a curse. I'm not reaping a blessing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what else he said? But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. So if I sow to the Spirit, I'm going to reap everlasting life. I got life. Which one you want? Life. life. So if you want life, then you got to deny this. Amen. You got to deny the flesh. Amen. You can't receive life till you deny. Amen. I think about a lot of times as we as women want to marry. Tell it. And then when you marry, you don't have your life no more. Mm -hmm. You got another party. Amen. So you got to submit your life to who life? Yes. Amen. Amen. This life. So that, and then it caused a conflict. I think we just get the joy of going to be mad. Mm -hmm. But the responsibility yes. oh. of it, we don't Amen. count it. Amen. We won't lie in Jesus, but we don't count up the cost. Mm -hmm. The cost of being committed. Mm -hmm. Cost 
of being faithful. Cause to lie your life and live through him. Does that make sense? Amen. Amen. So today we need to what? Count up the house. Oh, Jesus. What we going to accept. If I'm going to reap my flesh, I'm reaping death. Mm -hmm. But if I reap the spirit, I'm going to reap life. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So I want to live, so I got to turn from my wicked, wicked, wicked ways way. and turn to his ways. Amen. Amen. And you know, his ways is easy. It's just us submit. That's right. Amen. That's why he says, submit unto your husband, unto the Lord. Lord. And when you submit to the Lord, then you submit to him. So he Lord over your life. So if he Lord over your life, then he give you life and life more abundantly. Amen. Amen. I'm going to make it sense. Amen. God ready for you to reap a harvest. He ready for you to reap the life that he set and purpose here on earth. But he first got to get you out of the carnal mind of your flesh. Amen. 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 Lord, we live in the flesh. Yes, we do. I mean, Amen. boy. If that flesh say I want it, mm -hmm. yeah. I need to. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And don't know it's killing you. Right. You know, I, my God, I just heard the Holy Ghost say this. They talk about crack is bad. He said his flesh is killing you for eating the crack. Amen. 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 Alcohol is killing you more than the flesh. Mm -hmm. The more, see, you don't design the drink, but the flesh, I want more, more, more. You eat to the flesh, what you do? All right. So you reap it, curl off. So it's just like, like you said. Oh, y'all didn't see it like that, did you? <laughs> You see the person, you ask them to, uh, as a liar, and they do it in mind, they, they, they're addicted to it. Mm, right. That's all they know. That's right. Amen. Yes, amen. Keep up disturbing. Tell it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's the flesh that's corrupted. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Y'all yeah, see? All right. I'm going to let, I will show you something about Job. Let's go to Job 4 chapter. Job go talk. About himself. The fourth chapter, Job. Job going to come to reality about something. But Job Friend ain't going to talk about Job. You know, it's amazing when I'm looking at that. It's amazing how his friend described Job, how. Job can tell, encourage everybody else. He can lift people up. But when the time hit Job, Job crumbled in his flesh. Uh-huh. Now, we do that. Amen. Job 4 chapter. And you know, that go back to what I said, admit about yourself. Amen. That's why I say you your own enemy. Amen. Amen. If you ain't strong, I ain't strong. Amen. Amen. Some area I am and some area I am Amen. 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 And see, Job had to realize to the point. Job had to realize with himself. The stuff that he went on so bad to Job began that don't even want to wish he wasn't even born. Oh, that's right. right. <laughs> he wish he wasn't even existing. That's right. See how the flesh will make you feel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you get like that, the flesh gets so in control to the area that it will come in and say, won't you just take yourself out? That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because we lean too much towards our flesh. All right. Look what look what the word says. Start at verse one. Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered and said, If we essay to commune with thee, 
Will thou be grieved? But who can withhold himself from speaking? See, he had to talk to because he saw Job in a different form. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Job was an upright man, mm -hmm. had it all together, and he was encouraging them. But when he hit Job, mm -hmm. they didn't understand Job. What's the mm -hmm. matter with you? Yeah. You speak. All these things. Now I see something different. Don't make it sense? Mm -hmm. See, that's why you have to be cautious of what you speak out your mouth. Because somebody else is watching you at all times. That's true. That's true. So look what he's saying to Joe. So to me, he wanted to understand what's the matter with you. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Behold, thou hast instructed many, and thou hast strengthened the weak hand. See what Job did? Mm -hmm. He done strengthened them, the weak hand, lifted them up, mm -hmm. and he couldn't understand. Mm -hmm. Why you like you are? I think mm. sometimes we speak stuff. Mm. Do we really believe in ourselves? Wow. <laughs> what we speak? That's true. Mm. All right. That is a good question. All right. Look what else he said. Thy words have upholding him that was fallen. And thou hast stricken the feeble knee. So he's telling, so this man, he had to be in this condition that Job had encouraged him. Mm -hmm. He's telling you how I felt. Job, and did he, you come, you lift me up. Mm -hmm. You brought me out of my situation. I'm looking at what you said. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the matter with you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You sold me a game. <laughs> you sold me a game. Mm -hmm. You sold me that you won't come out of this girl, too. Mm -hmm. But when my time comes to read something, you will wonder why my head. Mm -hmm. Make it sense? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So that's a good day you brought up. All right, look at what he said. But now it is come upon thee, and thou faintest. See, now it has come upon you. Amen. Now you, faint. you faint. Mm -hmm. The body faint. is faint. Mm -hmm. You can tell me, mm -hmm. but when it hit you, <laughs> you faint. Mm -hmm. You withdraw. Mm -hmm. Amen. You get up. Mm -hmm. Amen. You want to fight. Amen. You don't want to go through. That's right. Amen. You you get a pity part. That's right. <laughs> Joe was so pitied that he wanted to die. Mm -hmm. He, spoke, he was speaking his own death. Yeah. Okay. Look what he said. <laughs> it toucheth thee, and thou art troubled. It, it, he said it touches thee. He didn't, mm -hmm. it didn't, have, how did I put this? Something just touch, mm. touch you. Mm -hmm. It don't mean it's going to stay on you. Mm -hmm. I think longer we grumble and holler, it stays longer. Because you hold it. Right, right. But if you just let it say, touch it. Mm -hmm. So when Job began to lift the sickness up, mm -hmm. it stayed where it's going to stay. If I keep lifting bitterness up, I'm going to stay bitter. Right. Amen. Amen. If I Keep that speaking. Mm -hmm. See, see where keeping me in there. Mm -hmm. 
So I sold that. I sold to the flesh. So the flesh gonna keep me oppressed. Your flesh keep you oppressed. Yes, sir. Is not this thy fear, thy confidence, thy hope, and the uprightness of thy ways? Oh, God. Read that again. Is not this thy fear? So, okay. What Joe fear? Fear with torment. The flesh go through torment. Fear. Mm -hmm. Promise you. Mm -hmm. And fear is a part of the curse. Yes. Mm -hmm. It torments. Love casts out all fear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it less love and more fear. Mm -hmm. So that more flesh mm -hmm. than spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 All right, that come on. Thy confidence. Thy hope and the uprightness of thy ways. So see what it took from you? It takes it takes from you. It takes. Fear takes from you. That's what the enemy come to steal and destroy. All right, the way it says. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish, being innocent. Or were, or where were the righteous cut off? See, remember, I pray thee, whoever perish. In Jesus, in John three sixteen, he said, "You will not perish." All mm -hmm. the way you perish is when you think more in your flesh. He said, "You're not gonna perish." Hmm. Oh God, thank you. Thank you. God, thank you for that. When the righteous cuts off, so God don't cut off the righteous. We cut off. God, I love you with an unconditional love. So when I begin to waver in my faith, I cut my self off. He can't communicate with me in the flesh. He can. So I got to, that's why the enemy don't want you to stay calm. Mm -hmm. He don't want you to stay peaceful. Mm -hmm. He don't want you, he wants you to be in the uproar so you can't communicate. Mm -hmm. And people lose their communication. Mm -hmm. When they all upset. Yeah. When somebody all upset, all mm -hmm. you can talk to them. That's all right. Right. But when they calm down, yeah. then they can hear them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So I won't mind to be cut off. Oh. Amen. Verse 8, but I won't get to it. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Mm -hmm. So both will reap the <laughs> they read the same. Ain't no difference. They read the same. You upset, they upset, they read it the same. So they have no difference. There's no difference. Ain't the same. 
Don't make it right. I'll make it with you. You pick it with me. It ain't gonna be soft. It ain't gonna be soft. And we still what? It's the same. Mm -hmm. He just said don't get angry, but don't sin. Cause you gonna get angry. Yes, but you don't allow the flesh to control your anger. Amen. Come on now. Come on. Don't make it sick. Yes. So I am so what I'm sowing out there, saying it to you, is coming back to me. Right. So I'm sowing bad, corrupted stuff back into my self. <laughs> so then I'm going to reap what I sow. Come on now. So that's why we need to be cautious when we say, I'm out. Give me a lot. <laughs> Come on, now. Amen. It's hard to keep your mouth closed. But you have to. That's why he said, "Give it to me." Amen. Eat that soul. See what Job sold. Now he he's a upright man. But the thing the man was saying, "What you brought me out of, Job? You that same thing you said to me? Use it for yourself." Yeah. But we don't do that. Amen. It's amazing on that age. All right, go to Proverbs 22, verse 8. 
it will bring life to you. Whether right. right. you try to do it on your own, if I'm sitting up trying to beat Thank you out of something, you are you gonna end up get beat out too. Yes, Amen. Amen. See, people think that you're getting away, but you're not getting away. So what you sow, God tried to get us in the place, sow good seed. Amen. If you sow good seed, you're going to reap good seed. Amen. I like this. It's, it's tight, but it's bright. It whooping me too. I ain't, I ain't the only one get whooped. It whooped me before it whooped y'all. Amen. He's still whooping me. Amen. <laughs> I mean, he's tearing my back in. Oh. Thank you. I got whips and y'all can't show y'all. <laughs> okay, let's go to Ephesians 6. See, I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm going to hurry and get y'all like in a day. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians 6, 1 through 4. Children. Start right there. Look what he calls. Children. So y'all ain't grown. <laughs> he called you children. <laughs> Chuck! Look what he's saying. Okay. Obey your parents in the Lord. He didn't say your mom and dad. Who your in the who your parents is in the Lord? Jesus. Jesus is your parents in the Lord. He's your parents that, and who is your shepherd? Jesus. Who's standing in front of you every Sunday? Jesus. 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 Y'all ain't got that yet. <laughs> Y'all ain't got that yet. <laughs> Who's standing in front of you every Sunday? Jesus. Jesus standing here. I'm your parents in the Lord. What he give me to tell y'all every son, he said, obey oh, it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Break it down. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Until you recognize your parent, mm -hmm. who I really is, mm -hmm. and take what I say, you will never prosper like you should. Amen. Because Amen. 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 you won't take what I'm telling you serious, because it's Jesus talking to you. Amen. But until you look at me, mm -hmm. who I really is, mm. Jesus. The shepherd of this house, the Amen. Jesus in me, right. and respect the Jesus in me, you will live a prosper Amen. life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's why he said, obey your parents in the Lord. Not your mom and daddy, the one you sit and listen to. Jesus. Thank you. Make it sick? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Especially if it's the truth. Amen. Then he said, for this is what? For this is right. This is right. Mm -hmm. So he's telling us. Mm -hmm. All right, look what he said. Now he getting to your mom mm -hmm. and your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that strange? Mm -hmm. yeah. First he talked about the house. Him. Through the one he's speaking to. Then he get down here and said, now what I should do? Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Honor mm -hmm. thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with the promise. He promised you long life if you honor your mom and your dad. Not your mom. Don't Nobody. Uh, cussing them out, fighting them. Right. Right. You wonder why the grave's so fast. Thank you, Jesus. You shall. Mm -hmm. Mama tell you don't go, don't go. Y'all, these mama nine days, y'all too light. Mm 